So one of the common problems that people sometimes have when they're using Firehouse is that a lot of the stuff they end up entering as a scheduled task when it should have been entered as completed, and there's some ways to, to fix that. But uh, what you might get is something that looks like this. This is our daily reminders, and this thing is totally full of literally thousands of uh, in this case, SCPA checks that are listed as scheduled. And you can see they've, what they needed to have done is put the completed tab and then that would have made that go away. Um, anyway, we've got so many that's, that's really not realistic. So I want to show you uh, a, a pretty powerful way to go ahead and fix that. Um, what I did is I created a query. And I looked for inventory items of that description that uh, had the status as one, which would be that it's scheduled. Um, found the fields, and then I filtered it so that if the inven st inventory status was a one, which means that it was scheduled, then then I basically took that in, into it and exported it to a text file. From there, I took the text file and I entered it into Excel, this is just a, an example of a, of a real short one, and then I added a third column which is comma two which is the code for completed. So this is just one example and I've got actually two different date formats here and they both worked when I did a test. So got that and I think the actual long file is way down here. So. So that's all those with everything completed. Then I created a custom import in Firehouse. Database administration import from external source. And I created a new one that I called inventory fix. And I went through and navigated the file. And I've got to put the right one here. Another thing that's important is the rules. Don't overwrite existing records. You, this has actually got three settings. When you click it, turn it on, you can then turn this one on. This is how you want it. You want this one checked, and this one is going to merge them with the other ones. If you don't check this, it's going to delete everything in that record other than the stuff you're entering. So what I want to do is I want to merge this with what we have. Save that. And then I would usually do a preview. I'm just going to, this is a practice database, so I'm going to go ahead and run this and see how it works. So I paused it. Uh, it's been about an additional five minutes here. Uh, like I said, this is a about 5,500 records. Relatively simple import, but uh, I want to give you an idea how long this takes. Okay, so it's chewed through that. Uh, this is the maintenance ID number. This is the this is the inventory ID number, and then this is the record. You wouldn't usually see this number that indicates the actual maintenance record inside Firehouse. So it looks like we've got another little wait here. You can look at the import log. It basically tells you how many, so about a little over 5,000 records here. Hopefully, I did this right. I probably made a mistake and I'll have to do this over again. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Well, let's see if I can find where that is. Okay, and before we had all those things in there, so I did it right. Now there's nothing left here. I still have uh, some other things to do in the occupancies. 
I got to uh, all these. I've got to do the same thing, but I fixed the entire inventory problem there. So, um, yeah, I think that's that's it for now. That's a that's a pretty powerful tool. You can use that to export and then re-import a lot of things that were entered wrong in Firehouse, such as uh, studio addresses that were wrong. Maybe things were put in all caps or lowercase, and you want to fix that. And instead of doing it one by one, uh, you can just do a max e export. Uh, fix it in Excel or a text editor and then go ahead and, uh, and import it back in.